Hello brothers and sisters in the Lord. I want to share one of the one of Jesus parable with you. I read this parable before I came to Christ, before I have relationship with him. And when I read it, I was unpleased. I was not happy because I was like, no, this this doesn't supposed to be this is a cheating. This is not right, you know. I, I was reading Bible out of context. I was reading it by my flesh because I have no Holy Spirit in me that can guide me and give me the understanding of the Word of God. You know, I was I was reading it to to place myself, you know. So when I came to Christ and I received the Holy Spirit and I read this parable, God gave me the understanding of it. I received the revelation of this parable and I want to share it with you guys because I know a lot of people are struggle to understand the parable of Jesus. A lot of people do not have the understanding i want to share the parable of the householder with you watch this video to the head for you to understand matthew chapter 21 to 16 jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like to a man that is a house order which went out early in the morning 6 a.m. to hire a laborer into his vineyard and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day he sent them into his vineyard and he went out about the third hour 9 a.m. and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them go you also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right i will give you and they went their way and again he went out about the six and nine hour 12 p.m and 3 p.m and did likewise and about the 11 hour 5 p.m. He went out and found others standing idle and says to them, Why stand you here all the day idle? They said to him, Because no man has hired us. He says to them, Go you also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. So when Evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard says to his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last to the first. And when they came that were hired about a long hour, 5 p.m., they received every man a penny. But when the first came, but when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the household, saying, saying, This last have wrought but one her, and you have made them equal to us which have borne the body and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do you no wrong. Did not you agree with me for a penny? Take that yours and go your way. I will give to this last, even as to you. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is your eyes evil? because I am good, so the last shall be first, and the first last, 
for many be called, but few chosen. This is the parable of Jesus, parable of the household, of the householder. And when I read this parable, I was asking God to give me the understanding. God gave me the understanding of this parable that the householder didn't reward them by their work. But these workers, they got rewarded by their obedience. When the householder went out early in the morning at 6 a.m., he sent workers to his vineyard. He went out again at 9 a.m. and said to them, to the workers, that go you into, go you to my vineyard and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And when the householder said that to them, they obeyed. It's what they can say to the householder. No. Let us know the amount you are going to give us at the end of the work. Because we don't want trouble between you and us. Let us oh, know. Let us agree. But they didn't say that. They all went to the vineyard and work. He said to the workers at 12 p.m., 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. They all went to the vineyard and work. But the first people that went to the vineyard and work, the first workers that went at 6 a.m., they did a lot of work. More than people, more than the workers that went at 5 p.m. And they closed, they finished the work at 6 p.m. But the householder reward them the same amount because the householder didn't reward them by work. He rewarded them. He reward them by their obedience. And Jesus said the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is like to a man that is a householder. This is the revelation of the kingdom of God. We are not going to be rewarded by work in heaven. We are going to be rewarded by our obedience. Not by work. We are not saved by work. We are saved by faith. And we are not going to be saved by work. We don't work for God to go to heaven. We don't work for God to receive something from Him. We work for God because we love Him. And when we have the Holy Spirit in us, we will love God. And when we love God, we will work for Him. We work for God because we love Him. And we cannot work for God without the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't have Holy Spirit in you, how can you love God? But when you have the Spirit of God in you, you have passion for God. You love God and you want to work for Him. We are working for God because we love Him, not because, not, not to go to heaven. The workers got paid. They got paid same amount, but different time. They got paid by their obedience. For if we obey God, it doesn't matter how long you have been working for God. It doesn't matter how work you have done. What matters most is obedience. We are going to be rewarded by obedience. 
God will not look at work. He will not reward us by work. He will reward us by obedience. So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. We all see that the first became last, and the last became first. Because, because the last got same reward with the first, and the first got same reward, same amount with the last. So the last became first, and the first became last. And many are called, few are chosen. We are all called by God. We are all doing God's work. But only few will be chosen. Because many will fall away. Many, many will go back to their whole life. Many will go back to their sinful way. They will fall away, especially in this end time. They will get offended because of persecution, because of tribulation. Many will fall away and only few will be rewarded. Only few are chosen because many will fall away. But few are chosen. Few will be saved. Few will go to kingdom of heaven. Few that stand their ground. That that they, that their faith, their faith is strong. They will be saved. Jesus is calling you today to obey. Jesus wants your obedience, not your work. But if you love God, you will work for him. Jesus is calling you to obey. He wants you to come to him, to obey, to humble yourself, to obey him. To repent from your way. He's calling you to repent. To open your heart. To open your life for him to come in. He wants you to be saved. For we are living in the end time. I hope this video helped you. God bless you.